Quick talk about a grown-up code word. We should get coffee sometime. These are words that everyone uses with the best of intentions, but they are code for goodbye forever. At least until the next time you randomly run into a person and you remember that you like them and that they are cool and that they are worth spending time with. But neither of you have time. I have stopped using these words. I have stopped. I will either attempt to schedule a thing with a person right away, like while I am standing there talking to them, a uh, coffee shop near my house, maybe it's a coffee shop near my work or near theirs, maybe it's a thing I'm going to that I think that they'd enjoy, or a thing that I know that they're going to that I'm like, yeah, I should I should actually come out to that, it's probably going to be a really good time, and we could see each other. If if that proves impossible, I can still express a sentiment that says, hey, I like you and I wish that we spent time together because you're actually really cool and smart and stuff. But I don't say we should get coffee sometime, because that is code for goodbye forever. Instead, I say, it's good to see you. I'm glad you're doing well. Which I think is also code for goodbye forever, but it is a bit more honest about it. I don't imagine this is one of those like subtext code words that hurts people's feelings. I think, I think everybody pretty much knows what it means and we use it productively, right? Like we say it to each other and we, and we both kind of know what that actually means. The flip side of course being that uh, sometimes we say it to people that we don't actually want to hang out with. Uh, we just say it because it's one of those things that we're, we, we're supposed to say in conversations and that's where life gets weird. In the spirit of last week's video, you either got time or you don't. It is okay to admit that sometimes we don't have enough time to do all the things we want or see all the people we want to, right? Like there's this sort of social notion of, well, you've got to make time. And that's true, but you also got to make rent. And sometimes those things wind up in conflict. But I invite you to, when you run into someone that you haven't seen for a couple of months or a couple of years, depending on sort of how you live your life, rather than saying, we should get coffee sometime, whip out that calendar and be like, hey, how's Friday? or next Friday, or Friday a month from now, depending on where you're at. <laughs> I like to think that it lets people know that yes, I actually want to spend time with them. And I am willing to take that first step right there. And yeah, sometimes you can't make it work. That's life, life happens. But what matters is when you see that person again, in a year or so, or whenever you run into them randomly, you will both know that you try, rather than using a code word and sending each other on their ways. Your mileage may vary, but give it a try. Anyway, happy long weekend if you're in Canada. Stay awesome.